Hello everybody and welcome. I am Jerry. Let me tell you a story. Four years ago, I booked a trip to Maldives. It was a very weird time. They started to lock down the whole world. Two weeks before I had to fly to Maldives, we got locked down. This was around April 2020. So three months ago, three months before this trip, I was in Thailand. Everybody started, started to talk about locking down the world, about a new virus or something that's gonna happen. Everybody's gonna die. So I was in Thailand thinking about it. You know, when did they tell us the truth? It was always the same story. Even before it started, so three months before it started in January, when I was in Thailand, I already started thinking, it's all gonna be bullshit, they're lying. So three months later, I have to fly to Maldives. I had the whole trip booked, everything paid for. I booked the hotel, I booked the, the plane, everything, summer island on Maldives. I had also a girl, bought a flight for her from Thailand. We should have a uh, meeting uh, on Maldives. Two weeks before the trip, cancelled, we got locked down. So three years later, four years later, I don't know, it was maybe April or May 2023 or 2024, it's not that important. So I booked again Maldives, same place, same island, another girl. So the story was, I'm flying from Germany, we're gonna meet there on Summer Island, on, first on the, in the airport, and then we're gonna go together to Summer Island. So the girl was from Zanzibar. Uh, the plan was, let's meet there, let's go to the Summer Island, stay six days on the island, have a good time, you know, as usual. So I booked a trip, I booked a plane for myself, maybe 700 euro. I booked a plane for her, around 700 euro, I don't know. It was a crazy story. So I came first. I was waiting at the airport for two hours with my, my stuff, with the, with the bag. Where is she? Her plane just arrived. She's not here. So what's going on? In my bag, I had two bottles of whiskey because I don't want to buy whiskey on Maldives. It's going to be expensive. So I have two bottles of whiskey. On my bag, there was a, a small sticker, a white label. This means uh, there is something inside the bag. It's not allowed to be, so they have to scan it. But I took it off. I just went out. Nobody scanned. Nobody asked me something. I just went out. So I'm waiting for her. For two hours, I'm thinking, what's happening? Because she wrote, wrote me a message. She's on the plane. Uh, they almost didn't let her go because she didn't have enough money when she was on airport Zanzibar she didn't have enough money so maybe I, I don't know maybe 100 or 200 euro so the problem is without money they don't let you go I don't know why so I think she bribed them she gave them some money she promised something so they let her go she was on the plane she said I'm coming she said the picture so my way I am waiting on the airport where, where is she I go back inside with my bag. Uh, ten minutes later, I see her. She's coming towards me. Oh, hi, hi. Uh, whatever. Uh, and there is a police officer. What do you have in the bag? Because I went already out with the bag, so I came back inside the, 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 the room. Now I had, they have to scan my bag. They, he wants to scan my bag. He sees two bottles of whiskey. He took two bottles. What can I do? He said, when you're coming back, you just come here, here's the paper, you get your whiskey. Okay, whatever, let's go. So I took her, uh, we go to a, a speedboat. 
it was maybe 45, 45 minutes trip to, to, to Summer Island. We arrived to the island. It was a beautiful island. You know, I wonder, they always say the sea level is rising. What about these islands? They're maybe one or two meters high. Uh, they are building resorts, they're building, building hotels. Nothing is uh, underwater, so who would invest in such a resort on a one meter uh, tall uh, uh, island? Who would invest? But people are investing. Now, think about it. And the sea level is rising. Okay? Yeah. Because of us. Because we eat too much, we smoke too much, we fly too much, we drive cars too much. Okay. So we came to the island. Oh, it was beautiful. You can see small lizards, you can see stingrays in the sea. We saw some sharks. So we had water villa. It was beautiful. It was a small house. A small window on the floor, so you can see through the through the uh, through the window what's happening below you. In the morning, you can go outside. You can pee in the sea, in the ocean. It's just beautiful. Sand, white sand. Water is just just like sky, just blue like sky. So we have been there for five days. It was very nice, nice place, but, but pretty boring. There was a, there was a cocktail bar. <laughs> there was a guy who always gave us cocktails on special price. So I just gave him, I just, just talked to him. Come on, what can you do for me? I give you something, you give me something. Can I pay for one cocktail? And I get two cocktails. Well, first he didn't want to do it. After uh, maybe... After two cocktails. He said, well, okay, I give you cocktails. And we see in five days. We see what we're going to do with the price. So it was just like this. After five days, I gave him 20 euro. Just, just under, under the, the table. Uh, five days later, all these cocktails we drank, it, I, I was paying always for one, we are getting two. Okay. So one day, there was next to Summer Island, there is a very expensive uh, resort, the, the island next to us. Uh, there was... I went diving there, I took my, my fins, I always have big fins, I go diving there. Uh, big, ho big, big houses. They have pools, rich people. I think the price was 2,000 euro plus for a night. One evening, um, I was in the ocean, maybe 500 meters away from the shore, or maybe even more. The sun started going down. This is beautiful, you have to see this. What a feeling. You know, around you there is nothing, it's just ocean, skies, sky is going black, water, you couldn't, you, you couldn't see what's happening in the water, it just, everything is getting dark, it was sunset in the middle of the ocean, I was thinking to myself, I'm in the middle of the ocean, thousand, thousand miles, or a thousand kilometers uh, to India, uh, two thousand kilometers, to Africa, 2,000 kilometers or 1,000 kilometers, other side to Thailand, I'm in the water inside, inside the ocean, alone. What a feeling. You should, you should try this. So we stayed there this, this five or six days. One night we had a fight. She lost something, she didn't want to talk to me. No, well, she did. She did. She did want to talk to me, but she was uh, pissed when I asked something. We were eating uh, a dinner in the evening. I asked her something. I don't know what was it. Uh, she, she was. She, she just said something. Something. She was just pissed. So I stand up. I go to the room without saying nothing. 
I just went to the room, I don't want to talk to you, okay. I go to the room. Five minutes later she came, she's knocking on the door, she came inside. Oh, I'm sorry, what have I done? I don't want you to speak with me like this. Tomorrow we go away from here, we separate our ways. You go one hotel, I go second hotel, I don't want to see you again. No, 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 I'm sorry, Jerry. What can I do for you? And then imagine, you can imagine how the end, how the, the night ends. Yeah, it was fun. One day we went diving, we took um, a diving course. So I have uh, my diving gear, I have my, my big fins and the mask. She cannot swim, she cannot dive, so she was just on the boat. We take the diver's boat and go make a trip. So all these guys uh, took scuba gear, they went diving. I just jumped without the scuba gear. I told them I'm not using scuba, I'm just gonna uh, dive just like this. So I go away from the boat a few hundred meters. I see a turtle. I grab a turtle. She was, I don't know what, what was it with, with the turtle. They usually can swim very fast, much faster than you can. So I grab her, maybe she was sleeping, maybe, I, I, I don't remember, I think I, shamed, I came from behind, I grabbed the turtle, I wanted to make some pictures. They said, you're not allowed to touch the turtles, okay, but I don't follow your rules. So I caught the turtle, made some pictures, I let her go. It was a nice trip. The last day, we went to the main island, Male. So the difference is, on private islands like Summer Island, there is alcohol, you can drink, drink alcohol, but on the main island where the people live, or all other islands, if the people, if the locals live, there is no alcohol. So there is a, a Muslim right, uh, they don't drink, they have no alcohol, so we were in, on, the, on the main island, uh, for one day, I also booked uh, a, a, a diving a trip, but this time with scuba gear. We went 30 meters down. Uh, this was this was fish feeding ground where we went diving. So uh, we we saw huge stingrays, maybe meter and a half size with two meters tails they were just huge a lot of them 10 20 uh, stingrays you can touch them you can swim next to them and there was one uh, i think bull shark or something this one was huge but it was maybe 20 meters away from us six meter big or something maybe something like this i don't know like 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 two or three people when they lie on the floor no maybe five meters who cares but he was far away he, we saw him he went away uh, so we came out during the night we were walking in the city there's just nothing it's just so boring city nothing is happening all the people they're sitting in the in a bars or, or, or restaurants there's no alcohol they just drink coca-cola fanta water it's so boring so, I went to some people, to young people, to young guys, I asked them, we see people, I just go, I, I talk to people. So I asked them, how is it on, on this island? You're young, you want to have some party, you want to have girls, how is it there? They just say, it's, it's boring. The problem is, there is no party, the only, the only music in the town was political party, and you know how boring this is. So the story with these people is, uh, young people, you have two options, or actually you have three options. First option is leave Maldives and go somewhere. Second option, you stay in your house, in your place where, where you live. You have your friends, <laughs> you have no party, no alcohol, no money, or, or you earn a little bit money. Or the third option is you go to a, a private resort somewhere, 
you work in a resort, but then you are like in a cage. It's you are like in a golden cage. You earn more money, so you can you can live comfortable with this money, but you live on an island. You cannot get off the island. You still can't drink. You can't have no parties. You, you don't know what to do. So the last day, a few a few hours before the the plane, we had to go to the plane. I went into the ocean. It's nothing special because it's main island. It's just normal normal beach. I went inside in 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 a, in a water. It starts raining. I was maybe 500 meters away from the shore. At the moment, it was raining so hard, I couldn't see the shore. It was just gray all around. It was crazy. It, it looked like you're in the middle of the ocean. You don't know where is home, where is ocean. This was maybe for a minute or two or, or two minutes. Uh, when I was diving there, I was snorkeling. I saw five small sharks, maybe a meter size. They were coming, they were coming uh, towards me. Uh, they were they, they swam around me. I don't know, maybe two guys from left side, three guys from right side. I don't know. What what a side, you know? It's it's five small sharks. You see them maybe one meter away from you, and so the trip ended. I always, always when I travel or before I travel, before I book the trip, I always think what is the purpose of being here, living this, this life, this body? Is it to earn money? Stack the money so you have more and more and more? So maybe you will need it one day? And this day is not gonna come? And you're thinking, yeah, one day I'm gonna see the world. I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna, I, I, all my dreams are gonna come true. Or you just in, enjoy in the moment. You book a trip. I always do like this. I just book a trip. I fly away. Always when I come back, there's not only uh, new experiences, uh, new people you meet. All these trips, they change you, they change the way you think, they change the way you talk to people around you. You become... You start, diff you start looking at the world with different eyes. You start becoming humble because you see how small and unimportant you are in this world. You'll also see all these things around you, what, what, what you can see on this planet and you are thinking how lucky am I so I can do something like this, I can earn my money here where I work, I can take this money so I, I change the time for the money, then I fly away, I change this money for time and I think this is, this is a good life. Please leave the comments, write something if you want, till the next time.